Good morning. I'm Cesar Delgado from Back Roads of Illinois. I'm here with Joe Schimp with his with wife, Natalie Schimp. I, I am a fifth generation farmer from Ottawa. And um, I live on the family farm that my father and grandfather and great grandfather mm. were all born on. Um, we farm around 2,000 acres and we are mostly around Ottawa that we do our farming. How was your growing season of last year? I know it was pretty dry in July. The corn stand was pretty short. As of this growing year, we had a good growing year. Even though the weather was erratic, we did have uh, a wet spring, a dry summer, but our corn crop was very good. Actually, mm. it was probably one of the best ones I ever raised. And our soybean crop was average. I did hear that. The stand was too short in West Central Illinois. Yes, I did hear that too. Mm. Um, it did not affect us, but we do have friends that are farmers over that way, and they were affected by the early wet spring and their <clears throat> emergence wasn't adequate for them and they had some of them had to replant and some of them decided not to and it did affect them at the end but here where we were it did not affect us that's good i did hear about use the numbers for tomorrow morning do you thinking about that the usa usda numbers that is always um, a tricky thing to try to figure out um, they're so hard to predict. We, we as farmers don't always understand where they get their reasonings for their numbers and their answers. Um, it, it, I, I really don't have a straight answer what will happen or what they will do because it's so unpredictable. Yeah, I do have copy for last month. I am thinking about that. All things is same numbers on October. This is odd. It's about NAFTA. NAFTA. It's an interesting topic. Um, I don't know too much about it, though I think that the president wants to get trade a little fairer for our country. Um, <clears throat> I believe that if things get changed, that in short term, it will probably affect us in a negative way, but I think long term it will be a positive for us <laughs> if things get changed. Now, we are talking about you, Mrs. Shim. Okay. I uh, work with Joe on our farm. There's chores in the barn to take care of, and we share that responsibility. And he teaches me, too, about um, equipment, uh, sometimes I get to help him work on different things. In the springtime, I help him with the planter and switching switching parts around on the planter so that we can get the seeds in the ground. Um, I am the person throughout the year who does a lot of the bookkeeping, but this year I learned more about how to run the combine. And that was really neat. This time of year, um, we are working with the year-end paperwork of finishing up the crop. Um, we work on parts of selling what we have left in the grain bins. The woman in egg. Yes, a woman in egg. <laughs> and you know our two daughters, we've raised our two girls on the farm too. And that's really cool. Do you guys thinking about the farm Bill got done for this year? Yeah, it's, I have not yet reviewed it or heard much about it, though I know there are changes. Um, uh, we all need to sometimes give back to receive more at times. About the crop insurance. Yes, the, it, the rumor is that the subsidy for the crop insurance might change or go away, and uh, that might affect things, but then again, we'll see how the insurance companies react to it. Once again, I think if we give up a little to gain something else, we might be okay. My opinion is that the less government involvement in ag, the better we all are. 
You weren't ready for this year planting season. Um, no. <clears throat> um, we have our crop, our seeds ordered, but we are doing a major overhaul of our planter. Joe, the weather was odd. Very odd. When we changed yesterday from 60 degrees to 20 degrees in a few hours. We haven't had much snow like we usually do. It is very dry, I think, the soil. I know the soil need of cold weather. Yes, cold is good. It does help eliminate bugs. It does, <clears throat> it does help move um, compaction layers up and down as the soil heaves and goes up and down when the frost comes up and the cold goes down. Sounds good. Thank you guys for coming for this cold weather. You're welcome. Thank you for having us, Caesar. It's fun to talk farming with you. <laughs> this is Caesar Delgado from Back Roads of Illinois. Thank you. Again, see you then. Have a great day.